I'm Eric Birch for MiningClips.com with your weekly market debrief. Well, it's been a rocky start to 2016 with global markets under pressure, lifting precious metal prices higher at the beginning of the week. A sell-off in China's Shanghai Composite was cited for the decline due to disappointing manufacturing numbers. It actually fell by 7%, triggering a close to trading partway through the session. By midweek, oil price declines and continued concerns over the Chinese economy continued to drive global markets down and the Canadian dollar hit its lowest level since 2003. Korea was also in the news with its nuclear test, quickly increasing tensions between the United States and China. Thursday didn't offer any relief for investors either. The World Bank cut its 2016 outlook for global growth from 3.3% to 2.9%. As for China, the World Bank expects growth of 6.7%, the slowest since 1990, and crude oil hit a new 12-year low before rallying slightly at the end of the session. By Friday, Chinese markets had stabilized, offering Western markets some breathing room, but that was not to be. North American markets continued their declines in spite of far better than expected job numbers out of the U.S., but oil continued to flounder, hitting yet a new 12-year low. For the week ending January 8, 2016, the Dow suffered more than a thousand point decline this week, closing at 16,346. That's a 6.6% loss. The TSX didn't fare much better, suffering a 4.5% decline to close at 12,445. Oil was certainly one of the worst performers this week. Futures closed out uh, 2015 at $37.04 and have fallen to $32.89 at the time of this report. That's more than a 12% decline on the week. In metals, uh, gold rallied on economic woes from a close in the 10 1060 range in 2015 to 1104 on Friday, a 4% increase on the week. It's nice to see something end in positive territory. Silver closed out 2015 around 1380 and ended this week at 1393. No real gains to speak of despite a midweek rally amongst global economic turmoil. Copper continued to fall, closing at 203 Friday and is in danger of falling below the $2 level. Let's hope markets were oversold this week to allow for some recovery next. However, with continued oversupply in oil and concerns over China's economy, next week may deliver more of the same. I'm Eric Birch. 